Hi, I'm Jess and I'm a teacher at Southern Rise Preschool and come with me and we'll have a look around the centre. <laughs> so this is where you will be signing your child in in the morning and signing them out in the afternoon. And if you come through this way. So we have two rooms that we use in our preschool day. So over here we have a block building and construction area which might change each term. At the moment we've got cars out and some people. We like to use natural materials in our play so we also have some sticks and logs and rocks. If you come through this way. We like to have spaces set up for small groups of children as well as larger groups so there's often a lot of tables with tables for two or tables for four with small group games like memory or this is tap tap. We can build and create with the hammers. So that's very good for children's fine motor skills as well. Um, if you come over here, up here we have some more, like some opportunities for children to play on their own if they'd like to, to create different patterns and different with different shapes. It's a bit of a mathematical experience. And we also have some puzzles. So this is a nice space where children can spend a bit of time doing quiet play, sometimes together or sometimes on their own. There's a little play, dolls, dramatic play space that we've set up. So this often encourages a lot of collaborative play and creativity, a bit of imaginative play as well. And as I said, we like to use natural materials like wood a lot. So we do have a lot of wooden resources at our preschool. Some more fine motor experiences over here, some threading. Um, sustainability, we are working on our sustainability practice as well, so reusing yogurt lids or straws or anything that could be thrown out. We like to use with the children and create little decorations for trees and things like that outside. Our service has worked a lot with um, embedding Aboriginal perspectives into our programs as well. So we have quite a few symbols and again the natural materials that we use and explaining the meanings of the different symbols to children. And you'll see over in the other room that there's another experience where children can explore different symbols. Lots of building and construction. And some more threading as well, much smaller pieces here. So that's also a good experience for fine motor skills, which I'm finding tricky to do. And we also have a library with some different kinds of books where usually we'd have nice comfortable cushions, but due to everything going on, we have decided to keep them away. So children can sit down with a teacher or with one of their peers, choose a book and read it together. We do like to do a lot, a lot of creative art experiences as well. So often we'll use books as a bit of provocations to encourage children to use that as a bit of an inspiration for their art. We'd have some little um, cotton buds that children could use or small paintbrushes. Lots of children are quite creative and like to be artistic with paint and drawing and things like that. So this is the art space up here on the deck. Again, we have drawing um, as well as collage up here. And practicing those skills like using scissors and glue sticks and good school readiness skills for children. And also using some natural materials and some leftover craft supplies for collage. Easel painting is always quite popular as well, especially on children's first day, often the first thing they'll do is come and do a painting with mum or dad or a member of their family. And we've also got, as I mentioned before, Aboriginal symbols that we explore with the children and using some sand where they can make marks in the sand with the sticks. And we'll often sit with them and discuss what each symbol means and encourage them to have a go at um, drawing the symbol. So when your child comes to preschool, they'll be given a locker so the lock will have a name on it and there's a little hook underneath that they can hang their bag on and 
there's a little hole, um, pigeonhole that they can put. Sometimes they put their lunchbox in there. Um, we put children's artwork in there as well. Um, hats, drink bottle. Oh, hats. We do have a trolley for drink bottles. Sorry. So hats can go in there as well. Mathematical activities with shapes, matching shapes to pictures. So that's a good experience for children's mathematical skills. And if we come over here, we've got another little, this is a nice little dramatic play space for one or two children to play at. we quite creative and imaginative, taking on the roles of different characters. And over here we have some Duplo. That's always another popular experience for the start of the preschool year building with some Lego and we also like to encourage children to act out and explore stories. So we've got a little setup of Wombat Stew. This is quite a familiar story to our preschoolers at the moment and we encourage them to use the animals and the natural materials to retell the story. Preschool is part of the campus at Southern Rise Education Centre, so we do have some interaction with the school children. And before COVID, we used to go on school walks around the school grounds and sometimes even visit some of the foundation classes. So we'll often see siblings or familiar faces through the fence that we can say hello to. This is our outside, one of our outside yards. So we've got some climbing equipment the children to do so they build up their confidence to go up the higher A frame and we'll encourage and help them with that as well and we've also got we have sandpit as well sandpits are always great fun to play in they're very social places and they're also great for building mathematical skills and science filling and emptying and exploring all those concepts and our sandpits are always quite busy as well We also like to do some gardening with the children. So we've planted some carrots and other types of some flowers. And it's just starting to grow. Um, recently we did an experiment um, planting seedlings in cotton wool and watching them grow. So that was quite exciting for the children. But hopefully as winter comes, our carrots will start to grow. And last year we even got to taste a few. So that was quite exciting. Um, so this is one of our bathrooms at preschool. As you can see, we have toilets that are um, suitable size for young children and the taps. Children quite enjoy the taps because they're automatic, so they come on and go off. There's no, not as many floods. And then when you leave the centre at the end of the day, we do have a keypad here that's got the number and you press that in and the door will click and you can walk down to the car park at the end of the day. Thanks for coming to visit us at Southern Rise Preschool and hopefully we'll see you soon.